Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to share some of the natural pain relief methods that I use personally in my life. There are of course so many things you can do for all sorts of different pain that you're um, experiencing. These are the things that I often use um, and that I've found to be super effective for me. So I've had a few comments asking me, especially since my last video, which was um, about my period, um, I've had some comments asking me more about the natural pain relief remedies. Um, so some of these are associated with the menstrual cycle. Um, a lot of them aren't though. A lot of them are to do with like my tight, my tight shoulder muscles or headaches, um, or inflammation. But they're also to do with um, period cramps as well. But I'll specify as I go through each thing um, what which pain it's particularly good for. So the first thing that I use that I find effective for all sorts of pain, um, particularly inflammation, is my turmeric paste. Um, this is great. Turmeric is an anti-inflammatory, so it's great for um, headaches, for um, bruises, for any kind of swelling. It's also great for cramps. And I find that turmeric is just kind of a wonder ingredient anyway, so I do have it in my tea uh, at least every day anyway. Um, it helps to clear up my skin. It's just, it's wonderful. But for the sakes of this video, I'm just going to be talking about it in terms of pain relief. And it is fantastic for... Um, stomach cramps so I definitely make sure I'm loading up and having it multiple times a day uh, when I'm on my period also if I feel a headache coming on I will definitely have a spoonful of it in a cup of tea um, you can take it I'm sure um, just straight or in some water or any any in cooking it's fine as well um, but I tend to have it um, with a cup of tea because also the heat is a very good pain reliever so that is my next thing um, heat is fantastic. So if I've got stomach cramps especially, so heat actually relaxes muscles um, and that's why it helps with cramps. It also just kind of calms the body, which reduces the constriction of the blood vessels um, and so lets blood flow more easily and it just helps the body um, deal with the pain a lot easier. The third thing is valerian root. It's fantastic for um, particularly menstrual cramps as well. Take this in the form of tea. It's um, especially good in the evening because it is a bit soporific. It'll make you feel a bit sleepy. Um, so I'll tend to have the turmeric in the morning and then the valerian root before I go to bed and they both kind of combine to make really great natural painkillers for period cramps. Another great plant-based remedy is ginger. Another, again, fantastic thing all around for all sorts of health conditions. Um, but for pain, it's really Really fantastic especially for inflammation and nausea so again great for stomach aches um, if you're feeling nauseous sick um, if you're just not feeling great so if you have um, a hangover if you have like muscle fatigue if you went to the gym the day before and you're feeling the aches and pains the next day it's also fantastic for that for reducing the inflammation and helping the um, muscles repair a lot quicker so you're ready to hop back um, at the gym speaking of the gym my next tip is having a little bit of gentle exercise now I spoke about this a little bit before in my previous video um, about periods um, that the last thing you want to do when you're on your period is to do exercise but one of the best things you can do is just very gentle exercise so whether that's a walk around the block or a little bit of yoga some stretching um, I find that that is one of the most effective ways to um, not completely get rid of the pain but definitely alleviate it enough so that um, it's manageable so stretching is one of my favorite things to do when I'm in pain so whether that's um, muscle ache because the muscles are tight because I was working out I like to stretch them out and it reduces cramps um, it's also great um, when I'm on my period to just kind of ease the blood flow so that my body can better work to heal itself again and particularly if I've got headaches or tense muscles on my shoulders which I often get because I work from home and I work at a desk most of the time um, I can get very tight up in the shoulder region which gives me headaches it's really good to just kind of stretch the neck stretch the shoulders do some back bends to help um, counteract the sitting down pose where we tend to hunch over um, make sure my shoulders are away from my ears and kind of stretch my neck out a bit um, that is absolutely invaluable and I will do that every single day to counteract the seated pose. So if you do have a job where you are static a lot of the time, whether it's standing, sitting, um, you are not, you don't have a lot of motion, especially if you're at a desk, so you may be hunched over your laptop um, or computer screen, um, stretching is by far the number one best thing you can do to alleviate headaches and aches and pains in your body. Another simple remedy is by wearing comfortable clothes. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I like to wear super loose 
um, loose fitting baggy clothes. Um, and as I mentioned in my um, why I no longer wear a bra video, um, bras I found were way too constricting and they were pushing against my rib cage um, and the straps were pulling against these muscles up here and it was just creating headaches which I didn't realize until I stopped wearing a bra it was kind of an after after the fact afterthought um, that I noticed I was getting no headaches anymore um, and I wasn't getting um, muscle pains around my rib cage um, and so I I found that looser fitting clothes really work and also my next tip is to go braless so whether that means like today for example I am wearing a bralette it's not technically a bra it's just a bit of fabric to cover to cover that area it doesn't have any underwiring it doesn't have any structure um, whether you want to go for that option or completely braless which I do most of the time um, especially if I'm not um, seeing anyone that day or if I'm just going to be around the house or in the local shops I will just not wear a bra at all and that is absolutely hands down helped with headaches and kind of um, body aches in general. I find that a lot of aches and pains, particularly headaches but also throughout the body, stem from dehydration. Now we all know that we don't drink enough but it is really, we really don't drink enough like not even close so I will always have a water bottle on me whether I'm in or out. I have water um, surrounding me so at my desk I'll have one, at the table, my bedside um, I always have a bottle that stays there and I don't move it so I have water through the night as well. Um, first thing when I wake up I'm constantly drinking um, water throughout the whole day um, and that helps my body um, the immune system and the circulatory system and the whole all of the functions of your body to work better um, and to help reduce any pain um, and cut out inflammation that is unnecessary that's not caused by something else um, it absolutely helps with the reduction of headaches um, so stay hydrated drink lots of water drink lots of hydrating foods like fresh fruits and veggies um, yeah it's key it's very important this next tip is definitely something we've heard a hundred times and that is to reduce screen time. So especially if you have a job where you're working in front of a screen, a computer, a phone, a laptop, whatever it is, um, I would suggest having at least a couple of hours a day where you are absolutely not looking at your phone or a computer or any screen at all. The screens not only damage our eyes which create um, muscle fatigue behind the eyes which create headaches um, but also just the looking at a two-dimensional thing all day I find that stretching my eyes out um, and looking off into the distance um, stretches the muscles in the eyes and so that definitely helps take away um, headaches caused by looking at just like a blank screen all day. So if I'm having um, a particularly admin heavy day that day and I know that I'll be at my laptop, I make sure that um, at least every hour I take a 5-10 minute break where I can stretch my eyes, look off into the distance. Um, I place, luckily I work from home so I can choose where I have my desk, so I place it between windows so I can look out into the distance, into the sky, into the buildings um, and stretch my eyes. If you are working um, where you don't have access to a window, take a walk, go and find somewhere where you can look off into the distance, even if it's just at the front door and you look off into the sky a few times. Just stretching the eyes will really help reduce um, headaches. And my last tip is having a balanced diet. This is so important. If your diet is balanced and healthy and nutritional, then your body is going to be in optimal health and it's going to be working and functioning at its very best. So it is going to be able to combat pain effectively. It's going to be able to heal faster, whether it's um, like muscle fatigue from going to the gym or if you've cut or bruised or scraped yourself or if you have um, tight muscles from headaches or any of the things that I've mentioned in this video. Um, if you have um, a healthy, working, thriving body, then it's obviously going to be able to counteract that pain a lot more effectively. So those are my tips for um, effective natural pain relief. I hope at least some of them have helped you guys out um, and if you know of any more please absolutely add them in the comments below. I'd like to start a conversation to see what other people use um, for their pain relief um, and if you use any of these uh, methods as well or if you're going to try some of them out let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye!